Hi, I'm Patrick Lowe. I'm the host of the All Ladies Challenge. And I'm Jason Victor, co-host of the program. Now, we're here in the Smith Marketing Office today for the very first challenge in the All Ladies Challenge program. And today's challenge is Studio Still Life. And the subject is fruits. For this challenge, all the 10 contestants will be given multi-blitz strobe lights to use to produce the images that they will submit for the competition. And let's see how they fare. Now, let's come in. We have to give a round of applause to our model, Miss Apple. I want to make it like a chameleon and then it's like in the progress of camouflage itself into the background. That's how long do you spend doing these things? Three hours. Three hours? <laughs> this is my first time using a strobe light and all that, so I still haven't get used to it. So you're confident of winning the challenge? 80% maybe? 80%? Maybe? Uh, sometimes I feel that still life should be actually quite simplified instead of thinking into so complex. I look at this picture and I think that your designs are the main subject as opposed to the apple. Background is stronger than the fruit. When we talk about fruits, the hero is always the fruit. The theme for today is One Malaysia. As you know, Malaysia, we have uh, colourful cultures in our country. I'll try to blend in this concept through these fruits. Or I'll try to put one drop of water at the side. Okay, <laughs> but it's fine. like, not related <laughs> It's great. <laughs> yes, I got what I want. And I'm quite satisfied with my work today. I guess the little part of the fruit is still my favourite. <laughs> The effect could have been further enhanced by using a dark background. I like this image a lot for the colours. Seriously. This one, the tip which looks like an animal head or what is on the wrong side of the picture. Actually, my concept is the forbidden fruit because it came from Adam and Eve. I'm a Christian myself, so I sort of like thought of this idea. I'm doing something like a low light, low key kind of effect. Actually, I was not familiar with equipments like tripod thingy and with the lighting set up. As I do my best, and, uh, yeah. I like the concept. I feel that uh, more could be done with the lighting. The idea is a good one. The only thing is, I think you didn't translate that very well technically. The shadow area is too dark, and especially when you shoot against a black background without shadow, it looks like floating. Okay, what I intend to do is something just very simple. It's like stock photography kind of style. So I just want to get the lighting and the technique correct. Okay, I thought this is really good, but I think Patrick says no. I am so not going to win this! But this is fine. I'm not used to using tripod, lights, set up and all that, so I put all of that in. I did not want to use the tripod and finally I could be free and easy to get what I want. This is like what we call boring shots. Like the play of angels could have made this a little bit more interesting. Not creative and it's nothing to shout about. The concept behind this is I'm going with a dramatic shot and working with lights. It's also my first time working with lights, so I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out. Really, my strawberry is like a superstar. Okay la. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I managed to maneuver the different various elements and managed to get a couple of shots. It's going to be the poster of strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the shadow area is too dark. If you look at the ground level, there's so much of dust. Not even yeah. an effort to clean the dust away or whatsoever. So it's Today is on still photography on fruits, so I've chosen strawberries. Actually, I've done some research on the internet to look yeah. for ideas. So, of course, I uh, saw some pictures that I like and okay. I modified what I had to yeah. suit the title for today. Squashed already! Oh, shit. Go three. I really challenged myself. I think I overestimated, um, but I'm quite happy uh, with what I've learned. When I see this image, right, it looks, it feels like three in one. And then each of these by itself makes a very interesting image. You have to be very focused. When you look at the prints, yes, that's it. But nice, you know, the texture and everything of the... Uh, today my things is wonderful for us. So I will be using the mushroom, veggies and tomatoes. I want to make it like uh, they are living healthy and then they are growing together in a small forest. The most challenging me is the raining part. So it's very difficult to control the lighting and then to show more detail about the rainings. I like the river part because I want my whole concept is just like in a very wonderful forest. Pink is out of the It's not food. We should use apple. You know, right? The hero is become mushroom. I, I like the idea. You know, it really does look like a forest and stuff. I would have never thought about doing what, it this what way. Yeah, doing it this way. It's a creative uh, composition with the uh, amount of effort put into it. For your information, this is Mr. Wu's favorite shot. You know, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So for me, among of all the right. fruits, pear shapes is 
the beauty. And you need to have a bit of curves as a real woman. It's fantastic. After a few trials, I think I finally managed to get what I really want. Make sure the backdrop is okay to make, you know, the lighting so so just to look into every detail. Um, I like the overall um, colour tone that you have to the image. I like this picture a lot. The angle should be lower. Because if you look at the pair and the background is like one line. The winner will get a flash from Nissin 466. The winner is actually Han. Han. Okay. Yay! Wow! Hey! Wow, congrats! Awesome. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. For the best to you for the next challenge.